But on the Raptor side of things, how do you um, feel? How do for you the feel Raptors, like? it's a gamble, but I'm not mad at it. Um, there was always, well, even with LeBron leaving, but still you were never going to be the best team in the conference, right? Yeah. With DeMar there, because even though I think DeMar would be a great spur, he's not Kawhi. Mm -hmm. Kawhi's a superstar, DeMar's a star. So you were uh, I don't think Kawhi's a superstar. Your opinion. I'm not mad at it. Well, I've you know what? Well, you know what? The Spurs got to the conference finals, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. I he personally took, he, no, no. He took them to the conference finals. Yes. I'm, I'm not going to be disrespectful. He's a superstar. Okay. I, I agree. Even still, defensively, you got to add that in. DeMar is not the defender that Kawhi is, and you can argue yeah. Kawhi can score just as good as DeMar. So, whatever. Um, but, so you bring in Kawhi. You also, let's say he likes it, then great. You got, you got, you got Kawhi Leonard for the next... What basically his whole prime? No, you got. I mean, you got a you you are you get an arguable top five, top six player in the NBA for his whole prime. Yeah. Um. You also got OG there. Your defense automatically becomes better. Also, you get back Danny Green, good um three and D guy. Spurs so good, so happy to have gotten rid of him. They, it's, I feel like they have just been signing Danny Green back year after year just because they, they had, had no better. Yeah, no <laughs> exactly. It's yeah. like fine, you replace Danny Green with, with Demar. It's like finally. okay, great. So you know you um and get you that replace back. Replace Bellinelli with Danny Green, and also is, you can. Yep, and you can share Demar's contract, which is which I think is a huge thing for them. Um, because what you mean? so Demar's getting paid like 140 million dollars. Yeah, I don't know if Demar is worth 140 million dollars. Man, he come on, bro. I feel you. Yes, come on, yes, bro. Yes, I feel you. Come on, bro. I feel, no, look, regular listen, season Demar listen, is worth that listen, money. Post season yes, Demar ain't. Yes, come but on, bro. yes, but again, there's a yes, but then there's like always again, there's always gonna be a ceiling with this team. Always a ceiling. You're probably not. But I ever, disagree with you're that. You're probably though. not ever gonna take that next. So look, you get Kawhi. If he if he if he um loves it, cool. If he hates it, you get to rebuild quicker. Instantly, you get to rebuild. And you get to hope that you get the number one pick in the draft. Honestly, remember when Wiggins was um coming out? The Raptors thought they were gonna be bad. And they just weirdly got good. They were. Tanking for Wiggins, but they just got good. Oh yeah, because they were like, like, "Oh, like well, we're good." So uh, yeah, I mean, no, because it was like the homegrown Canada team. guy gonna go to the Canada, exactly, and then he wound up going to, to the Timberwolves. <laughs> like they were really tanking for Wiggins, but they just happened to get oh, no. good. Oh no, I'm tricking, I'm tricking. Wiggins, not never mind. Wiggins, no, yeah. no, but yeah. they just happened to get good. So it's like, oh well, y'all, well, okay, we got good, cool. We had his run, we won fifty. No, Wiggins games. got drafted by the Cavs, didn't he? Yeah. Okay, I was Cavs, about to say, yeah. I thought I was tweaking yeah, for a minute. All right, Cavs, you, you, you totally screwed my mind up because he definitely got drafted by yeah, the Cavs. Yeah, Cavs and, and, got, and, and got traded. Okay, okay, okay go ahead, my bad. But, but again, so this is one of the rare trades that I do actually like for both teams because it makes sense for both organizations. You get to get rid of DeMar's contract, even though he's been a great player. I don't know if you want to pay on the rest of that contract. Bring in Kawhi. He's definitely an upgrade from um, DeMar. If he hates it, whatever, we get to rebuild instantly, very quickly. We still, we kept OG. Yeah. You got to keep OG, which was which which you know according to the early reports was the thing that was keeping the trade from happening initially. Um, but go ahead. So yeah, you keep um, OG, and then for the Spurs, you still get to win fifty games. You still get to possibly go to the conference finals. I mean, they were still going to win fifty games regardless. You get to go to conference finals possibly, possibly. It's a possibility you can make the conference finals. No, 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 it is. Um, Huge possibility. It is. I mean, and even looking at the Raptors, right, you see, I mean, th this team going next year, you got OG, you got Danny Green, Serge, Kawhi, uh, Kyle Lars, CJ Miles, um, you got, you still got Nagura, you still got Norman Powell, you still got, you still able to keep Siakam, you got Valanciunas, Van Vliet, Deleon Wright. My only issue with this team in terms of, like, from the Raptors side of it is, like, Kawhi is going to have to go there and score. Like, I don't, like, Kawhi... He got he, he to give me 24. No, no, no. He got to give me 26, 27 no, a game. DeMar yes, didn't even does. do that last year. Is DeMar Kawhi? No. Kawhi got to go there and give me 26, 27 a game next year. No, he doesn't. Guess the hell he does. He does. After all this drama, you didn't put everybody got to play excellent defense. No. He's got to no, no, he's gotta put he no. Played. This team, they need a number one score. The yeah. problem was every time DeMar went against LeBron, DeMar – Kind of just shrank under the light of LeBron. And LeBron, LeBron, and but. come on, he never really could score against that team. DeMar was never the scorer that he was in the postseason or against LeBron I mean, that he was during the regular season. I expect Kawhi to go out there and give me 26 uh, points per game regardless. Period. I think, Period. I mean, but, Especially if you finna waltz your way out of town and go to L.A. and lead his team. You better at least go out there and give us one of the greatest seasons we've ever seen before coming off that that he pulled last year. The main thing that I'm looking for for this team is defense. Like, I think they could possibly, possibly top three defense team in the league. 
Mm. You got OG, you got Danny Green, you got Serge. Again, again, Serge, when when um he was younger, was top five and defense player of the year voting every single year. Now, look, I granted Serge may be 40, possibly might be 40 right now. But, again, you don't play defense by yourself. You got Lowry, you got Kawhi, and you got Serge. The switchability on that is crazy. Yeah. So, look, I, I really, really, the thing I'm looking for is defense. Um, I think the defense can be very impressive. So, for me, if Kawhi can come in and give me 25, but play, I'm talking about that elite defense. The defense that was defensive player of the year, Kawhi defense. Not the defense he was playing a little bit in San Antonio when he was when he when he had to hold a little bit more the offensive load so he couldn't just go out there and completely lock the I mean, team's best player down. He was still top five in, in, uh, yes. in defensive player yes, of the year voting. But it took a slight He was still top I know, five. Bro. I know. No, look, I'm not saying that he wasn't amazing. I'm just saying he took a slight step back, obviously, because he had to score more. Okay, I'm not upset at that. And and I think this team will have actually better individual defenders in their starting lineup than what the Spurs did. Now, the Spurs have a great defensive team, but we're talking about individual defenders like Lowry, one of the best defensive point guards in the um, league. Danny Green, good 3 and D guy. You also got Serge. Serge can still guard, what, five positions, basically? If you get Sir, if, if Serge gets switched four, on anything, four. are you really mad? No. No, but but my, my problem with Serge and Valanciunas is they can't score. Serge can hit an open shot. That's but that's not. I, I need. They don't have enough scores. And this is what you see time after time. They got Danny Green now though. He's not a score. OG though, but OG's but you not that a OG, score. Oh, no, see, OG can hit a three and play great defense. But and I think I the OG will, I, you gonna have enough. You gonna have a, ton, a team full of three and D guys. You not winning no goddamn ring. And I mean, the Rockets damn they did, huh? The Rockets damn they did. Harden ain't no goddamn three and D guy. This is goddamn superstar and offensive no. juggernaut. Stop uh, that, Kawhi. You want Kawhi to be a defensive player of the year and still be James Harden. That's not happening. No, listen, listen. It's listen. not happening. But but the defense, I think, would be better than what they had. Like, I think you can literally have a top three defense in the conference with this team. And also, they're pretty long. Deleon, 6'5". Danny Green, 6'6". Kawhi, 6'7". Serge, 6'10". OG, 6'8". You can do this and cover up half the floor. You have you have a lot of lineups that you can put in. They still keep the bench. You still got CJ Miles. Like I think they have. There's no reason, no reason, no reason. If Kawhi, assuming Kawhi's healthy, and you know he doesn't lose anything. I, again, me, I don't necessarily know if he's 100 percent healthy. But assuming that he's healthy, he can come back out here and get to and and um, play like the old Kawhi. There's no reason this team can't make the finals. They could. They could very well make the finals. My money would still be on Boston. But they could very well make the finals. Definitely conference finals.